Good morning. Our second day. Yes, had a very good rest at uh, Hotel Adler. Huh? Could really recommend yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Gave us a beautiful uh, room with a beautiful view. I want just amazing view today. This is the Nissan, this big hill, mountain in front of us. And Tun is in that direction. And we are going now into my left side. Okay. Okay, off the room. Huh? Yeah, Gena, exactly. Let's go. Leaving uh, Sigrisville, we have to go down nearly, I guess, at uh, lake level. So far it's been easy on our road. Slight descent, beautiful view of the lake of Niesen and further up uh, Bernese, the so-called Bernese Oberland. So couldn't have asked for better weather. It's not uh, super, super clear, the view because there is humidity in the air. Yesterday, just when we had sort of arrived to the hotel and relaxed a little bit, actually there was a, a rain. quite a big <laughs> downpour a heavy, of rain. A heavy rain, short but heavy. Which is always uh, very good when you're hiking, when it happens when you're under a roof. So I didn't mind that. But I think this makes for this uh, humidity in the air and that's why uh, the views are a little bit broomy, but nevertheless uh, breathtaking. In good spirits, currently nothing hurt. That will of course change <laughs> through the day, as it always does. But that's uh, normal. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? It always happens. Well, we have the, the sun behind a uh, cliff in our left side that is pointing to the east and uh, we expect uh, the sun will get out in the next 20 minutes and then it will come the heat immediately yeah well, it's a beautiful new yeah. chalets yeah beautiful place left really. and right uh, Sigriswil is much bigger than I yeah. remembered but really kept uh, its alpine character which is very nice Everybody, I guess it's mandatory by the municipality. Everybody sticks to this uh, chalet style, nearly everybody. Okay, it's two hours since we departed from starting point today and we are almost eight kilometers now. We saw already the first time the city of Interlaken, which is the destination where we are going today. Interlaken means uh, a city between two lakes because it's located between 
this lake, the Thuner See, or the Lake of Thun, and the Brienzer See, or uh, the Lake of Brienz. And it's a very uh, international uh, city because it's a very touristic destination. You have a, a lot of people coming in summer and in winter, in winter for the uh, winter sports like ski, snowboard, or hiking on the snow also. And in summer, because it's a beautiful place for uh, youth people love to come and stay there. It's a lot of Americans come in here. But anyway, it's, it's a very international city. You can find restaurants from uh, different countries also. Uh, do the amount of, uh, of uh, international tourists they are. Now with Corona, of course, it's different times. But um, we will see when we arrive uh, to the city of Interlaken, you will, you will find. And it's very famous because um, it's a place where many um, tandem paragliding tandem flights happens. Um, well, it's also the place where you can take up the train to the Jungfrau Joch, top of Europe. Yes, exactly. It's an uh, all year snow peak, which is very famous. So lots of people stay in Interlaken so that they can go up uh, to Jungfrau. We will see. Now I want to concentrate in this uneven path full of stones, not so easy to, to walk without the sticks. The sun is already up in this place. And we are approaching one of these traditional wood bridges uh, across some water some small rivers water lines down in, on the hill this is dry amazing <laughs> normally Normally it's, you have a sort of cascade here, but uh, a waterfall, um, but now it's dry. As usual, I'm filming you and you are taking some photos of me. Beatus yeah, yeah. Beatus, I don't know how you say in English. In German they say Beatus, Beatus Cave. Uh, it used to be an Irish monk that came here a long time ago and apparently, I'm not sure actually how factual it is or if it's a legend, but apparently lived in this uh, long cave that goes behind really us. behind yeah. us. Yeah, I think this is the exit where people are coming out. Now the thing is, Alex and I have visited, huh? I think yeah, I we personally visit. visited two or three times, you have visited once. Once. So once is enough. No, it's really nice. I would, I would recommend if you if you do this hike uh, and you've not seen them. But uh, we have decided that we rather spend some time in Interlaken, huh? So yes. we're not going to do... We are just two hours from, from here to Interlaken. And as I explained, this is a very international uh, city. Yeah. In, no, it's very famous in winter and in summer. Plus we booked a nice hotel. We booked a so nice hotel we there. That we means, decided uh, not to visit this time. Sure, we have other opportunities. We love this area, so we're always coming back. So for sure, when we maybe have uh, international visitors or so, we can come back here and visit the cave 
also when our many godchildren visit, uh, maybe that's a fun thing uh, to do. So, uh, yeah, and the uh, food was good, no? You I like it, yeah. Like it well, good. okay, well, you're hungry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, Everything nice, is good. Uh, nice takeaway uh, in the shades right uh, at the entrance of, uh, of the cave. So, all good. Excellent stop. Yes. We might stop uh, in Sundla one, one, once more. Once more, yes, and that's all. And, and then, then we will uh, arrive too. We'll go straight uh, to Sundla. Hot but fairly easy. Okay. Well, we're just down from Beatus Höhle to almost the lake. Yeah, well, we are here. Sorry, I will, I will change the camera. Yes, we went down now. This is new. I don't remember that anyway. We are on the lake of Thun now. Yes. Oh, Ellen, a lot of fish. Not so big, but they are there. Oh. Look that. So beautiful. And we came from here. Incredible. Incredible. Up. up. We've been really up, up, up. We're down until, until the lake. Um, well, okay, the Nissan is behind already. Um, yeah? Beautiful. I can't remember that we walked here. Was this the way? Uh, Could there? be. Now it's closed. We need to climb in a small part there. But I don't remember that we were... Well, that was 2004, huh? Yeah, it's a long time ago, but this is much <laughs> nicer, of course. Yes. This is 17 years ago when yeah. we did this road. So now that it is when we was walking from Switzerland to Spain. In the Jakobsberg or El Camino or um, Pilger. Beatus Höhlen, yeah, Mono, this exists, Ellen, this is... No, this is the arrival of the boat. The yeah, boat this is the arrival of the boat. Here, I don't remember. We will see. Let's do a selfie, honey. A selfie? Yeah. Okay, let's go do a selfie. Yeah, yeah, that bridge was new. So that's I why, think yeah, so. When we did uh, Camino, we had we, to we passed upstairs that yeah. bridge, and I can see a yellow mark there in one of the light poles. Yeah.
We are almost arrived in Interlaken, the paragliding spot, one top paragliding spot in Switzerland. You have many areas. That pilot is landing now. And we have other on the air. Okay, we are arriving in Interlaken West. Uh, I will say 20 kilometers along. Yes, because we are off, uh, you know, in order to sleep in Interlaken, we had to, we couldn't continue around the lake, so we had to walk the canal up to Interlaken. And this is another three kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, until, 2 we are at, until we are at the hotel, yes, for sure. But now we are going for ice cream. Okay, I, I just want to show you Interlaken West Railway Station is here. And we can go this island in this direction. As I mentioned previously, this is a very touristic place. With all the traditional Swiss merchandise, Victory Nox, Swatch watches. For every taste. No. Okay, we are now in Interlaken. We made it, we were right at the heart of Interlaken, which is this huge park where all the tandem paragliders uh, land, and they're actually still doing it. So it's been such a lovely uh, day. And uh, for us, it was a bit, uh, so at least for me, Alex, I don't know, for you, it was the last part, was a bit tough. Yeah, well, okay, it's. Uh, uh, because we're actually off trail, we had to hike a few kilometers into Interlaken and then in Interlaken I had booked a, a place right at the other end. Yeah, that is that was not the best optimal uh, hotel yeah. selection. Eh? No. That is but the disadvantage. But the, when the place I really like. So, uh, the hotel is fantastic. And, you know, when you plan, that happens sometimes at home, you think like, ah, a few kilometers more, uh, no problem. But, no. but uh, then when it's hot and and uh, well, anyway, I was really tired. Then, of course, the few kilometers that you add, which are off uh, route, uh, of course, then become a little bit more problematic. But anyway, made it, had a warm shower, which always helps to lift spirits. I have been uh, checking out a little bit the shops in Interlaken, not buying anything because I don't want to carry anything. Thanks God, we, we don't have the car here, otherwise. Yes. 
<laughs> Usually, you know, cannot. Uh, but not no, show. nevertheless, I, I, I remember once in the Via Francigena when we was walking from home yeah, to but, Rome. Yeah, yeah. In some part in Italy, you buy a pair but of shoes. But the last day, the last day, <laughs> then we didn't have to carry. So no, no, well. to carry, I don't buy. So that's also good. And now I think we're going for something to drink. Then an we early go for dinner, something to drink, and, and then we better rest because tomorrow is going to be the longest day, right? 20, 20k plus more, the more than 20. Stuff. I think so. Will be 20, 25 probably. Yeah. But um, I'm just considering uh, then these three extra kilometers from today is also three extra kilometers from tomorrow mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> no, no, plus I another two 20. more in, entering Thun until we arrive no, to... No, no, we're not going to Thun tomorrow, we're going to... No, at the uh, end, at the end, I say. Oh, at the end. At the end, at, at, at the sum of kilometers, it yeah, will tell no, us that like we are accumulating more than, than yeah, we expect. We'll see. Tomorrow is another day now, I think it's time for something to drink. And then we go for a nice dinner and then we call it a night fairly early, huh? Yes, yeah, so because I didn't sleep so good yesterday. Mm -hmm. The pillow was not the best, and yeah. probably I was uh, too tired. I guess. And, and we when you are too tired, normally you just turn on the bed many times. You sleep like a baby, yeah. as usual. Yeah. Uh, you cannot complain. No. Anyway, okay. But anyway, will be good. Will be good to have a rest. More uh, so within the stay. dinner. Probably we will show yeah. a little bit. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. We are here now having dinner. A spectacular. You need to see this one. I will show you. This is a carpaccio and yours, Ellen, <laughs> is taking photo. Yeah, I will take it and I will, I will, but I, I'm just pointing. Uh -huh. What is it, Ellen? It's a burrata with uh, peas and uh, strawberries. Mm. Which I think should make a very nice mixture. That sounds salad. very good. <laughs> 